in this session we are going to discuss network connecting devices that is bridges a bridge used to operate in both the physical and the data link layer in the previous video we have shown you that bridge operates up to the data link layer so physical layer as well as the data link layer it regenerates the received signals and as a data link clear device in the frame the bridge can check the source and the destination physical address that is the mac addresses and also a bridge has a table used in filtering decisions so like your repeater the bridge can repeat the respective signals but along with that as bridge, bridge is working up to the data link clear it can see the source and de destination MAC addresses. So here we are having this source and destination MAC addresses can be read, can be accessed by this bridge and also bridge is having a table with the help of which it can take some filtering decisions. As bridge is not working up to the network layer, so it has got no capability to, to take any routing decisions. A bridge cannot change the MAC address in a frame. So now here we are having one diagram. So now just see a diagram shows how a bridge can connect to LANs. You can see there is a physical layer, there is a data link layer. So that is the way in which the bridge is working. Next, there is one sample bridge table. How this bridge table has been formed, you can get this one. This is a bridge and that is one LAN, let it be LAN 1. That is another LAN, let it be LAN 2. So here we are having the respective stations. These are the MAC addresses. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means we are having 6 bytes are there. So it is having 40 bit MAC address. So as they have been expressed in hexadecimal, so 8 bits in hexadecimal will be represented by 2 hexadecimal digits as hexadecimal each and every bit will be representing 4 bits. So there is our MAC address for one station, MAC address for another station for LAN 1. So this LAN 1 is connected with this port number 1. So for the port number 1, these two MAC addresses are written in the bridge table. And here you can find this is our LAN 2. So these are the respective MAC addresses are there. For, for the port 2, these MAC addresses will be written. So whenever the packets will be coming to bridge, bridge knows that which is the MAC address for which node and which is connected at which port of the bridge. Now, how this table is getting generated? So, let us discuss on that. The diagram shows the learning bridge and the process of learning. So, here we are having this is a one bridge which is connecting three lands and here we have made two stations for each and every land. So, at first this original bridge table is empty. When after A sends a frame to D, so A is trying to send a frame to D. So, when this particular in packet of information will be coming to bridge, as bridge can read the MAC addresses in the frame, so this entry will be made. That means the node A is connected with this port, port number 1. So, obviously, it is not node A, actually, it is the MAC address of node A. So, now whenever after E sends a frame to A, so when E will be sending a frame to A, so that means E is connected with the port number. 3, so this particular entry will be really written, here E will not be written, but the respective MAC address of E will be written. So now after B sends a frame to C, so whenever B is sending a frame to C, C is this one, then it indicates that B is connected at the port 1 of this bridge, so B1 will be written in the respective bridge table. So here we are finding that how the bridge table is learning and the bridge table is getting constructed. I think you are getting this idea how does bridge work. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning.